Hey y'all and welcome to Kimmy's Real Adventures and Stuff on Wednesday, July 6, 2022. Are you looking to save money on a car purchase? I'm continuing in the series of, of uh, automobiles and the free stuff and bargains for seniors and other people. I'm picking up where I left off. And if you're looking to save money on buying a new car or even a used car, stay tuned. I'm picking up in the section. Get a, get a great deal on the lot. You drive by the dealership every day on your way to work. One car has caught your eye. It's been on the lot for weeks. It's not the color you'd hope for, but the price is right and it may be time to make an offer. And remember, stay hungry and go towards go in towards the end of the day when the salesmen want to go home. Remain hungry, but don't you look hungry, let the dealer look hungry. As we've talked about on previous vlogs. The longer the car sits on the lot, the more expensive it is for the dealer to keep it on the lot, basically. It may have some options you don't need or want. Ask if he'll remove them and reduce the price. I wonder what kind of options you could get removed if you didn't care for them. Hmm. Well, I guess it would be up to the individual buyer, right? Or better still, see if he'll throw them in as a bonus for the favor you've done him by helping him to get rid of that slow moving inventory. Because you know they all want to get rid of their inventory as soon as possible and make that commish. How to handle a long test drive. Car makers have found that a day-long test drive is pretty effective at clouding customers' good judgment. If you decide to take the dealer up on the 24-hour test drive, treat it like a serious business. Treat it like a serious business. Don't let the pleasure of driving a new car make you forget to seriously critique the car and negotiate for a bargain. Maybe if you did a little nitpicking, I wouldn't normally suggest nitpicking about what's wrong with something, but in this case, just maybe, just a little bit, it might help to reduce the price of that car. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, yeah, and negotiate for a bargain. Here are some suggestions for how to spend the day. Dedicate some time to driving with no distractions. Concentrate on the car, not the kids, the radio, or the cell phone. Yes, God forbid people put their phone down while they're driving, which is a big no-no. Shame on you. Critique the car in light or how you'll use it. Critique the car in light of how you'll use it. Carrying babies in car seats, hauling soccer teams and groceries, or simply commuting. Check the view. How is the rear and side vision? How is the view at night? Any blind spots, which is very important. Hopefully there won't be um, any blind spots. How does it handle? turning radius, driveway maneuverability, garage fit, highway speed stability acceleration for entering the highway. Are controls visible and within reach? Check the instruments and the accessories, day and night dash visibility radio, AC mirror adjustment, seat and steering wheel adjustment. Do doors open and close effortlessly? 
How easy is it to access the passenger and engine compartments, trunk, roof, and rack? Here, any rattles or squeaks? When it is over and you return the car, simply say, thank you for letting me drive the car. Then leave, go home, and think about it. The marketing ploy behind the 24-hour test drive test drive is to get you to fall in love with the car and buy it without negotiating a price. Hmm. That would be an expensive mistake. So I do hope you take these tips to heart and you can find some tips to save you some money. And the next vlog for this today's tips, I will pick up on smart strategy for avoiding lemons. And I'm sure at some point in your life, you've probably bought a lemon and regretted it. So I hope you have a very good rest of the day and morning wherever you are, depending on what the time may be. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, share on social media, hit that notification bell. And if you'd be interested in merch, I will put the link in the description. And uh, stay goofy. See ya.